Okay, so here we got the least expensive soap dispenser I can find from Amazon. I already took the bottle and the straw off the bottom. You pull the pump out. You can see the step here. So you just want to make sure that soap is not on there and it's clean and dry. And you want to get the hose to come up over top of this step in order to keep air from getting in. So since my hands are slippery, I'm going to use a paper towel to help me. So you put the hose up to the bottom and hold the paper towel because my hands are covered with soap. Okay, and now you want to get, you see how easy this is to slide here. It's not a good enough connection, so you want to keep on pushing. And you're going to push until you can get the silicone hose up and over that step and you want to get it up and over a good amount, at least maybe to the next step. So you can see how far the hose is now slid all the way up on that fat part, at least a half an inch. Okay, so now we'll just slide that right back through. Go back out so you can see where the soap is. So the one pump had already came up a little bit. But there's our soap tainer hooked up. There's the soap coming up the tube. That happens when you fill the soap tainer up all the way. And that's what I suggest, fill it up. At least put a gallon in to start. It'll help you with priming. We'll count one pump already. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, at this point, this cheap pump starts to struggle a little bit. So you might want to pump it a lot faster to get it up there. So we'll say that's eight. You see how much how I had to pump it quick to get it up there? Well now it's up. Now if you're using this pump and you find the next day the soap has come back down the tube, then just send me an email. Uh, I can get you another part to install. It's a basically a, a valve that goes in line that will help with the backflow of the soap.